That's right, keyword is sore, keyword is sore. For the first time in 2019, I am sore. So it took, just so you know, like insight into my training and my philosophy, it took me 31 days of running every day. So I haven't done a double yet. No, I, I don't think I've done a double yet. And so it took 31 days to make my legs sore. I went up the mountain twice yesterday, wasn't sure how the body would react, and sure enough, I'm a little sore. Good news, that's the key word. All right, just bopping along, nine minute pace, trying to recover, cause yes, tomorrow's a new day to fight again and to go back up the mountain. All right, four and a half miles today, four and a half miles in the Ultra Torin 3.5s. I haven't worn these shoes since December, basically because I took some time off and uh, I like to use these Ultra Torins for recovery days where I really wanna stretch out my calf, my soleus, my Achilles, and basically I haven't been sore enough in this first month of training, in this training block to warrant uh, pulling these guys out and using them and basically, I, I don't think I'll ever race an ultra. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But as far as recovery, stretching, I just really, really love them. So anyway, good day in the Ultra Torrents today. Good day in the Ultra Torrents today. Four and a half miles, so uh, 6K-ish, 6K-ish, a little over 6K. And uh, all right, did you see yesterday's comparison between the Solomon Speed Cross 5 and the Solomon P Speed Cross 4. These two shoes, I uh, love them both. I love them both. But if you didn't see that vlog, go check it out, upper right hand corner. And then what I'm doing now is prepping for a big mountain run tomorrow, a big mountain run tomorrow. Come back for that. I think you're gonna enjoy the footage a lot, a lot. I'm going higher than I've gone since, uh, as far as in elevation, since uh, August? September? August? Probably September. Early September. I'm going up high. I'm excited. So, and yes, somebody asked today, I think it was on YouTube, might have been on Strava, I'm not sure, basically for me to compare the Speed Cross 5 to the Solomon S-Lab Sense 6 SG. And listen, the Sense 7 is already released. I don't have it yet. But I'm just gonna say now, there's a really good chance I will get the Sense 7 this spring, and it could potentially be my racing shoe for the Pikes Peak Ascent. So come back tomorrow, I'm gonna compare these two shoes, the Speed Cross 5 and the Se Solomon S-Lab Sense 6 SG, and there's major differences between these shoes, but also similarities. So thank you for asking that, and listen, ask and you shall receive, YouTube, ask and you shall receive. If there are shoes that you want me to compare, continue to comment down below, and I'll do my best uh, to accommodate your needs. All right, I'm here for you, I'm here for you, all right. Let's go to the studio. Strava, Strava, Strava. Oh, Strava. Strava was not around when I was in high school, nor when I was in college. It's a new app, and if you don't know what Strava is, that's okay. It's basically an app that is used to track uh, running and cycling and swimming, actually. But I would say it's very, very popular in the running community. Uh, I don't know about the cycling community, but I'm sure it's popular there as well. Why do I enjoy Strava? I enjoy Strava because I know that behind all of the numbers are real people with real lives, real running goals, real running challenges in their life. Like they're, they're, there's people. Let's not forget that behind like total volume for a week or total vertical gain for a week, which we're going to talk about here in a minute, there's real people lacing up their shoes and getting out the door 
and struggling in the cold, in the heat, in the in the deserts, in the swamps, wherever, like there's literally people, I think it's like 195 countries are represented on Strava. And I just love that. And that actually connects to why I, cho I chose the particular name for the running group for this YouTube channel. All right, let's run through a couple stats about Strava from 2018. Here we go, you ready for this? 240 million runs were tracked on Strava in 2018, totaling 945 million miles. There were, this is kind of a unique stat, there were 10,000 plus turkey trots here in the United States. That's kind of neat. Actually, Thanksgiving Day is the most a popular day for running in America. That's fascinating. That's fast. I, I kind of like that because it's like it's kind of labeled as a uh, eat a lot of food type day. But I think in the last 20 years, it's kind of evolved into like first we run, then we eat and be grateful. Anyway, I think that's interesting. Okay, there was a 71% increase in run commuting in 2018. So if you commute to work and you run to get there, there was a 71% increase in 2018. Now, I think that's just like people actually figuring out how to label their runs on Strava, but that is a pretty amazing number. Like if you're gonna be in a car, if you're gonna be on a train, might as well lace up the shoes and like multitask by running to work. I think that's amazing. All right, and globally, uh, the average pace for men was 907 per mile, 1021 for women. I think that's kind of neat. Just like globally, how fast on average is everybody running? Anyway, those are a few stats from Strava. Okay, why a Strava running club for everybody here on this YouTube channel? I, I, I was thinking about how could I summarize this, and I think the best way is to say one word, or maybe it's two words put together. Anyway, crossover, crossover. So a lot of you are sharing your thoughts down in the comments about training ideas, about workout ideas, about questions about long runs, uh, opinions on how to recover well. Well, it's amazing to read your comments down below. But now there's a little bit more accountability and crossover from the YouTube comments down below to Strava. So what has happened? Okay, we can talk the talk down below in the comments, but what about walking the walk or running the run? So if we are sharing, and for me, like I want full accountability and transparency when I'm telling you like I'm going out and I'm running 22 miles today and set at seven minute pace, you know getting ready for a marathon like you will see it appear on Strava so I think crossover from Strava Seeing everybody doing their runs to the comments down below. I think it's a beautiful thing and you're probably wondering Okay, what is the name of the group so I can look it up on Strava and by the way the link to the group is down below right at the top of the description of this video so click on that link it'll take you there and then I think you just click join and you'll be in the club you'll be in the club so I went back and forth it was not easy it was not easy uh, I definitely wanted global to be in the in the name of the group because there's literally people in on every continent. I wonder how many countries are now represented here on YouTube and on Strava. It's just inspiring. Thank you for being here from Malaysia to South Africa to Korea to Russia to Canada to Ecuador. Like there's literally people all around the world. Brazil. Oh my God, I could go on and on. There's literally people around the world. So I decided to include global in the name and then I realized like, it is connected to me, you know, in this YouTube channel. So I included a part of my name in the group. And then um, I wanted to keep it as short as possible. So I did not include club or group at the end. And then also one last point is that uh, one of the good ideas that was pitched maybe two weeks ago was uh, run do more miles. And I liked that. However, in America, we track our running through, through miles but most of the world uses kilometers. So I decided like, I don't wanna exclude the rest of the world by saying run to more miles. Therefore, after talking to True Love, pitching it to a couple different people, I decided on, you ready for this? Demore 
Global Running. Demore Global Running. And listen, I could have put Demore Global Running Club, Demore Global Running Group, but I decided that running at the end encapsulates what we're doing here. Like, so that is the name, Demore Global Running. And I like it because, uh, first of all, if you think about, at least in English, more M-O-O-R, which is the end of my last name, um, it basically, it's kind of a uh, incentive or a challenge, like let's all continue to run more. So Demore Global Running, anyway, I won't talk too much about the, the name uh, more than that, but I just, I like it a lot, I like it a lot. So last night after the live stream, I took maybe 20 minutes to create the group on Strava and I, I, I've never created a group on Strava. And so I didn't realize that as soon as I hit create that it would kind of go live to everybody. So literally in the last, you know, 20 hours, we are now at, let me just hit refresh. We are now at 240 members, 240. That's crazy. Thank you for joining. And it's only gonna go up from here. And so a couple shout outs. And so basically what's gonna happen is it's going to compile all of our running into one group and it will create these leaderboards, which I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but I'm just gonna give a couple shout outs. Last week, the top runner was, as far as distance, was Jeremy Doyle, 73 miles. Uh, the top climbing, so who climbed the most, was Andreas K. He went 10,000 feet of climbing. Uh, so anyway, it's just so cool to see all of these statistics come in onto the group. But remember, it's not stats, it's real people lacing it up and going for it in their daily run. And now I wanna give a warning, I wanna give a warning. Do not compare yourself to other runners in the Demore Global Running Group, because guess what? We are all at different phases of our training blocks. The only time you should compare yourself to someone else in this group is if we all are lining up on the same starting line on the same day at the New York City Marathon, at the Chicago Marathon, at the Boulder Boulder, at the you know Western States, UTMB. Like, don't compare yourself to the other runners in the group because we're all at different stages of our training. And one of the biggest goals of Demore Global Running is to do real world running with all of you. I live in Denver. It's gonna be the easiest to create group runs for local runners here in Denver, but what about when I travel to, listen, I know in the next two years, I'm just gonna say no more than two years from now, I, I'm hoping to travel to the UK and let's do a group run in, uh, in Wales somewhere or the Scottish Highlands or uh, I wanna travel uh, like New York City. Like I go to New York quite a bit because I have a lot of family in New York. So also part of this group uh, on Strava is that I will be able to create group runs that you will be notified about and then let's meet up and let's go running, all right? So that's one of the biggest goals of this Strava group is to actually meet you in person. And on that note, yes, locally here in Denver, it's coming, it's coming. I've got a few more things to work out in the schedule and we will make it happen. Oh, so excited for that. Just a few more quick shout outs. These, I'm just refreshing on the Strava app right now. People that have joined the group and so what happens is it uh, aggregates or collects everybody's runs from today that have joined the group. So I'm just gonna do some shout outs. Trent, Easy and Hilly 10. Congratulations, Trent, that's a great run. 10 miles. Uh, Mike, workout on the treadmill, six miles. Just scrolling down a little bit. Alexander, speed work. There you go, Alexander, I like it. Z uh, Zeke, uh, four mile afternoon run. And then there was a, here's one, Tyler, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, four miles. So it goes on and on and on. Ben, Ireland, a treadmill session. There you go. So all I'm saying is I'm so excited to, again, see that crossover because I can see your comments down below on YouTube, but now we can inspire each other. We can help hold each other accountable through the Strava app. And uh, yeah, hopefully learn from each other. And yes, the question of the day, what do you hope to get out of the Strava group or the Strava club, the Demore Global Running, the Demore Global Running? Like, what do you hope to get out of it? And listen, like, think about it for a second, whether it's inspiration, learning, motivation, 
uh, accountability, um, idea. Anyway, just think, think like, what do you hope to get out of it? Because I have some ideas. I'm not going to share them now, um, but I'm just excited. Thank you for joining. And again, it's down below. That is today's vlog. I am actually going to bed early tonight because I'm going up to the mountains early tomorrow morning. Come back for that. Oh, you guys rock. You guys rock. All right. Thanks for being here. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo! See you tomorrow on YouTube and on Strava.